Let's talk about relationships. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about awesome relationships you can have with your food, your partners, your friends, your coworkers, bosses, the list goes on. Let's go. Hey, this is Jason Roselle and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. A lot of times when we think of relationships and being happy with our friends, our partners, our bosses, the list goes on, we fail to realize that we have to have an amazing, and I mean amazing relationship with ourselves, right? And a lot of times when people contact me, whether it's for wellness training, life coaching, relationship coaching, they're like, I'm having just issues with my partner, or I'm overweight, or I'm getting in conflicts with a lot of friends. I don't seem to be too happy. Or maybe they're happy in certain aspects, but not in all of them, right? So the number one rule to really, and I mean really have the most amazing relationship with people is to have an amazing relationship with yourself, right? We have to ask ourselves, are we doing daily meditations, right? Are we doing daily and evening journaling? For a lot of you that are watching or listening right now, right? If you're first time, you know, subscribers, and you're saying, well, I don't meditate. I don't know how to meditate. I, journaling, I don't have time. I work 60 hours a week. I was in your shoes many years ago. And I can tell you firsthand, in order to have thriving relationships with other people in any division of your life, you need to, and I mean, I mean really need to, make sure that you are a balanced, right? And in order to have balance, you want to meditate, even if it's for five minutes a day, and I have tons of free guided meditations on the iTunes, the Spotify, and YouTube. Take a moment for yourself, especially if you have kids, especially if you have a really nonstop life. You gotta take time for you, right? Also, when you journal, you're not only journaling the things that are on your mind, but the things that you have been accomplishing and that you wanna accomplish. Maybe you're having a bad day, express that. Also express how do you want that, that bad day, those bad times to really transfer into some positive energy. The following thing I'm gonna tell you, besides having an amazing relationship with yourself, is that your friends, your partners, right? If you're getting in arguments, say it could be your boss, it could be whoever it is, you have to ask yourself, what is the root of this? Did I cause this? Did they cause this? It doesn't matter, right? It does not matter. Because sometimes instead of pointing the finger at somebody else saying, well, you did this, you said that, you got to ask yourself, was I giving the energy that I think is awesome? Did you become that fly in the wall and observe from the far out and say, wait a minute, did I go about this the right way? Because some, sometimes it's really our fault. We're causing the issue. We're making the situation worse. Now, let's say it's your partner, your coworker, your boss. It doesn't matter who it is. Your trainer for all I care. And they are the ones that are being negative. They are the ones that are installing negativity and putting it out there. Are you going to sit there and say, oh man, well, you know what? They're being negative. I'm going to bring it right back to them. No, you need to flip the script. You need to really switch the situation and put it at and on your favor. How do we do that? Take their energy, right? And don't absorb it. Just be conscious, realize what's happening and instead of reacting, take a moment, maybe take three, five seconds and ask yourself, wait a minute, maybe they're having a horrible day. Maybe this happened. And you could ask yourself, well, wait a minute, I have bad days too. I almost got an accident 25 minutes ago. Does that give you the excuse to treat somebody else like that? 
a bad way, a negative way? Does it give them the excuse? No. But you need to be the better person because life is about perspective and attitude. So when you can have a higher and better perspective and attitude about any, and I mean any situation, you really take control of what's happening and don't let anything, anything, and I'm repeating anything, take away your joy and happiness, right? So remember, at the end of the day, you have to make yourself happy, bring that balance and connect it. When I work with my clients on Zoom, whether it's here in the United States or overseas, right, or on the phone, I am working with so many people on different levels and it's so easy if you put in the work, whether it's the journaling, whether it's the meditations, whether it's one-on-one mindset coaching with me to really obtain the goals that you want because you are limiting yourself from the best life ever if you're letting things get in the way of your joy and happiness. Remember, these are your questions, right? This particular question was, was from Josh Martinez. He is in San Jose, California. He was sending me this message on Facebook, on Facebook, just asking me, hey, I'm getting into issues here and there, right? How do I solve this? How do I solve that? It comes down to you first. The rest, of course, is a niche. We will work on that productively and individually. But for now, right, work on you. Work on becoming the best version of you, having the best relationship with yourself. And same thing goes with your food. You're you're overweight. You're eating too much. You got to switch that up. You can spend days in and days out at the gym. That's not going to solve the problem. Have a good relationship with your food. How? By being mindful. Mindful eating of how you're eating, when you're eating. And I have tons of episodes on this. Drop me your questions and leave me, just leave me any questions or topics that you want me to focus on because this is what really drives me to do these episodes time in, time out. We're on season two, baby, right? And this show would not be alive if it wasn't for you. So keep on supporting, share this with your friends, And most importantly, keep it caliente, get inspired, stay inspired. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.